This is Mike Sullivan. I'm a former IRS agent and teaching instructor. Welcome to my YouTube station. You may think it's really unusual I dress like this, but my office is across the street. I have a suit and tie there. Um, I've been doing this for 50 years, so you want to get my head. You don't want to see what suit and tie I wear. And if you want to see me so much dressed up, I have been on national TV many times on all the major stations. You can look at my TV interviews. I've been on five times in the last couple months. And more importantly, you can see my team of former IRS agents at 777, that's three sevens, irs.com. You'll learn all really about us. So um, I've worked over 10,000 cases. I've worked, um, I've been doing this 50 years. I worked for IRS a decade. I've been doing tax defense for, what, 40 years? So anyway, at the end of the day, why did I create this? Well, my son encouraged me to start a YouTube. I didn't want to do YouTube, really, but I have, and I got like over 6,000 followers, so thank you very much. Anyway, I do these videos for three reasons. So you don't get ripped off, um, so you know the truth to educate you and give you insider information from a former IRS agent. So I want to talk to you today about when a revenue officer or an IRS agent comes to your door to collect money, what to expect. Why do I do tell you this? Why do I know this? I used to be a door knocker myself. Yeah, as a former revenue officer, I can tell you exactly, exactly how IRS is going to work your case. Now, with that, you're two pe you're, the people who are looking at me right now are either doing one of two things. They're either going to want to do the case by themselves, which is fine. I give you the information, know this, or you're judging who you should use. Well, if you're not using former IRS agents, to be honest, you're kind of like, I don't know what to tell you. If you don't want to work for someone who's worked the job, I, I, I can't help you. Anyway, let me tell you how IRS is going to work the case. So the first thing, I know your case has come into my inventory, and I must close that case. I'm going to close the case generally by one of two ways, by hardship, currently non-collectible, or a payment agreement. That's why I'm out there to get that case off my inventory. Generally, they want me to get this clo case closed in a matter of months. How do I do that? Many times now what IRS is doing, they're knocking on doors to put people on notice. IRS is here to put a little fear in you. Usually what they're going to do is if you're not there, they're going to leave you a card and say, call me. It's a little card. I think that form is the 2246 that's on there. At least when I was there, that's the form number they assigned to that. And uh, when, when you are there, they're going to ask for a fight. They're going to ask you for an appointment, a financial statement, a 433 A and B, and they're going to give you a doc request, which is a form 9297. That's what IRS wants. IRS wants to get you in the office to get your financial statement and to make a determination how to close the case. Now, all revenue officers are different. Some are very stoic. Some are very serious. Some are a little goofy. Some are a little nutty. You never know. It's like pulling a, a, a well, you never know what's going to come out of a Cracker Jack box. So I was one of those people, so I can tell you. At the end of the day, the IRS is going to want the 433A or B. That's their financial statement. They're going to look at that. They're going to review it, and they're going to make a determination on the case. Now, here's where the here's what you have to know. This is what's underneath the case in the underlying case. IRS is going to dig into your financial statement. They're going to look at it. They're going to want to look at your checks. They're going to want to know where your money's going. They're going to look at the assets. If, a, if it's a business, they want to know what money's coming in, how you're spending your money. And IRS kind of understands when you work a lot of cases what everything should be. IRS, the revenue officer, is looking for oddball stuff. For instance, if I was looking, for instance, I, I said this on another video, if I was looking for... Um, uh, at your uh, checking, uh, your check accounts and where you're spending your money. I told them one time I uh, what check was written to a storage unit for like $275. Thought that was odd for a storage unit. 
I tracked that down and sure enough there were three muscle cars in there. So I'm looking for maybe credit cards that you were writing checks for, you didn't report it on your financial statement. I'm looking at that financial statement for what doesn't make sense or possible assets that you have that you're writing checks for that are not making sense on the financial statement. Remember, the revenue officer's job is to go ahead and collect money. If you want to stop the IRS from doing all the delving and have somebody in between it, if you got a clean case, just go in and do it yourself. But if you don't, and most people don't, you may want to think of hiring us or somebody who knows what the hell they're doing. If you're calling a major tax firm, you're talking to a salesman, good luck with that. The only people who can represent you are attorneys, CPAs, and enrolled agents. If not, they can't represent you. Anyway, I hope I've given you good information. Make sure your 433 and B is accurate. Make sure all your tax returns are filed. And more importantly, make sure your estimate payments, your federal tax deposits, or your withholding is up to date. IRS is going to be looking at that. I gave you good information today. Please give me a subscription. Why? Because YouTube values us and grades us on the amount of subscriptions. That's why if you look at a YouTube a station, they say, hey, give me a like or subscription because that's how YouTube knows the information is good. Thank you. I appreciate the subscription. And by the way, you can make a calendar appointment with us. You can call me. If you have a large case, call me. You'll speak with me directly. Thank you for listening. I hope I didn't waste your time.